Good morning, it's day six and we are here. We left Beaufort West, we're on our way to Oatshorn. And as you can see across the road, the cyclists have stopped. They are excited. It's a bit chilly this morning. There's a, uh, a southeasterly wind, but we are all ready to face the rest of the route and especially the beautiful Mayron Sport. But if you think that's why the cyclists are excited, it's right at the end when we reach Oatswan, like we do every day at the end of the the day it is the beneficiaries as meals on wheels partners with all donors including yourself to make extreme cycle for hunger the greatest ever bit of a tough start today coming out of uh, Bovard West today um, with the wind on the side and then the, coming to this point and then obviously we're going to the iconic marrying sport. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful way straight through the onto the wrist and then into Oatsall and then to our outreach. It's been a fantastic day and like I said, we're doing it for a good cause and I think the guys are feeling all good and ready to go and tackle the side wind that's going to be with us going into Oatsall. So in the background you see Mayron Sport and one of the 2024 Extreme Cyclists for Hunger that not only survived Mayron Sport but conquered it is none other. Well, the only one. The one and only. Mm. It's the negative side of Mayron Sport but it's a beautiful place. Uh, that's what you're missing. It, it keeps you going, even though the road may be tough and painful, but you know what you are going to see, the beauty of nature. And that's what we saw. But of course, today, day six, was very windy, very cold, but we kept going. And what uh, sustained us is to know that at one o'clock, there's a group of students who are waiting for us. And that just buoyed our spirit and kept us going. And th there we are now, a few minutes, we're going to be reaching them. and. Uh, share the little that we have with them. That to me is the climax of the day. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it was quite an experience. Yeah. Something you look forward to once a year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I hope I'm going to be here next year. You guys came through speeding. Yeah. Um, what, what speed? Uh, do you have an idea what the average speed was through Maiden Sport? Yeah, above 75, I think. There you have it. These cyclists are totally illegal and yet remain legal. with um, Henny Bartman, the principal of Aliada Kairos School. This is a very special school, a school with 260 children with learning disabilities, or how we would say gifted children. They are absolutely full of fun, absolutely full of laughter. There are 260 children here, of which 70 live in the boarding school. Um, it is our pleasure, through Meals on Wheels and all these people who cycled all the way from Alberton, um, to come here today to leave this year for your school. Aliada Cairo School, I want to uh, send our gratitude to you. It's indeed for, our, for us a great gesture that you come to our school and provide us with this meals, that uh, food parcels and everything. Thanks to Meals on Wheels for the great gesture and also to the cyclists there from the East Rand. We ended on a very positive high note, um, dishing food to um, the children here in a disabled school. I want to tell you, if you are where you are, not moving, interacting, seeing people. You, 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 
you may never know how blessed you are until you move out of your comfortable zone and see how how other people are disadvantaged how other people are pulling hard in life you know wherever you are god has stationed you there so that you can be a channel for him to to bless others that brings us to the end of day six please remember to like subscribe and share so that we can create more awareness God bless you.